what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? A statue of George Floyd in Union Square has been vandalized with paint not even 48 hours after it was unveiled to the public. Yeah, fam. Well, they clowning in New York. George Floyd's statue is among three, including Breonna Taylor and civil rights icon Congressman John Lewis. Their statues are being exhibited in New York City for 30 days. And then those statues are supposed to be moved around to various cities across the United States. This statue that was damaged, it represents some form of justice, right? Uh, where you have these uncivilized mutts who was brought to heel and was punished, at least one was punished so far. Still gotta get the rest of them and still haven't gotten justice in the Bianca Taylor case. Now, the uncivilized mutt who vandalized the statue, they say they found him, uh, the camera, surveillance camera picked him up and he hopped on a skateboard and burned out. So they may have photo of him. They didn't say if they had a picture of his face or not. They just said they caught, they captured him on, on camera. But they also said that there were other people around while he was doing this and they did not do anything. So perhaps, you know, they were uh, sympathizers of the guys. In any event, that person is not the only person who is I guess, upset about these statues, particularly the George Floyd statue. There are those, black and white, and everything in between, who has a disdain for George Floyd being recognized in such a manner. They say that George Floyd was a criminal. He got killed. And this is what I hear a lot of people saying. Well, he got killed and, you know, he was a criminal. So, you know, it was sad that he got killed and the cop was wrong for killing him. But, you know, I can't really have love for him because, you know, he had a criminal record. He used drugs. Let me explain something to you. Just about every person that has their name on a street a building, an airport, a statue, a school, a hospital has done drugs. Yeah, you want to get rid of those statues? Want to bring down the street signs? Nah, what you want to do is pick and choose. See, George Floyd don't look like the person you want to celebrate. See, see, certain people, they got that petty criminal history or whatever, and you like look at them like, ah, yeah, not that guy, oh, that guy, that guy. Just like you will look at a doctor who might be a junkie and praise him. What's the difference? Occupation, that's it. Some people, Furthermore, I want to say this. Some people change the world while they're living. Others, unfortunately, it takes their death to change the world. And George Floyd did that. Breonna Taylor did that. Whatever you might think of George Floyd, change has happened. Oh, we're nowhere near where it needs to be, but there has been change. 
in a number of municipalities. There has been some change. The needle has moved a little. You know, it's a grinding old slow ass, backwards ass American grind, but you know, it's a grind. So, you know, if nothing else, you know, he did that. And that, my dear, is more than most of his critics can say and will ever do, even if they lived a hundred lifetimes. No more talk. What the haters talking about?